So this is the biggest pet coon you've ever seen. A day of riding at Wranglers with the Colts. That's my bay silver on the left. He is a dappled Dan Colt. And then here on the right, we have got Rocky. His registered name's Corona on the Rocks, correct? Yes, Corona on the Rocks. But we just call him Rocky, which is what they called him when we got him. So we've just kept it. But this is the one that's going to bug you for the attention. This is your pet coon. This is the one that's going to run to you in the pasture just for attention and love. This is your big, big pet coon baby. This one here is super sweet, loves attention, will come right to you in the pasture, and will come right to you at the stall window. But he's not going to just knock over your drink, hit you in the head, or anything else he can possibly do to just get you to pay some attention to him. This one here will. This one loves its mouth played with, loves paying attention. Here goes our silver bay down the deep, steep hill towards the water by himself, away from the group, which is always a good thing. Cloud is messing up my video. Because he says, I don't want my friend to leave. Mm -hmm. I got him so far down, I can't even see him. There he is. Alright, we'll get him coming back up. This guy is a little on the lazy side. He can have some energy if you stand him up in the stall. I mean, he's a two going on three year old, but uh, he loves to follow. And if he's following, he walks almost like a quarter horse. He does not have a super fast walk on him. And he just assume walk all day long. So you gotta encourage him a little bit to lead because he's still young and uh, he'd much rather follow. He's your typical gentle horse. All right, here goes Rocky down by himself, down the steep hill, heading down towards the lake all by himself. If you hear somebody in the background, we've met a guy here on the trail. He and Stephanie are talking. He's got a couple of dogs with him. Now, Rocky will go by himself, and you will see she'll pick him occasionally, but he's not near as much trouble to get to go by himself, and he'll also ride in a group, he'll ride in the front. But you're mostly going to be in the back. I'll just warn you because this guy is a slow, slow, slow walker. Slow, slow walker. Like I said, that is a steep hill she's going down. And we have had a lot, a lot, a lot of rain. It's a beautiful sunny day today, though. And a two coming three-year-old. Corona on the rocks. Coming back calmly towards the group. I love when you spin them and they don't start acting retarded because they're coming back. How nice. Very, very nice. No, no go-go juice. Okay. And we've only been about four to five miles so far on this trail, but they've got their winter hair and it's a warm, sunny day, so they got hot quick. <laughs> Here we have got our Dapple Dan Colt. He is a silver bay. Doesn't look it right now, but when he sheds off, he is bay with a silver um, mane and tail. He has the blaze and one boot on the back, but his legs are black. And in his ears and around his eyes and everything is black. He stands perfect to get on. And here we have got Corona on the rocks and Kristen went with the ground mount. <laughs> And I'm on Mr. Cloud, who will side pass over to the mounting block and stand beautifully for you to get on. Do a little gate. All right, I'm on Cloud. We've got the base over beside me. Let's see how smooth he is. You can see Stephanie. Again, this guy is registered Tennessee Walker. He has a dapple Dan Cole. Which is about as good of uh, papers as you're going to get. He is famous for throwing the silver daffodils, chocolates, and the base silvers. And that's going to be one nice, nice horse. The heck, he already is.
Look at that land on both sides. That's how shallow it is. And yet that tugboat's just going right through.